Okay, Rip, got your computer part and uh, the capacitors have been replaced in it, so we're checking it out to see how she does. And there's your first one. And your second one. And your third one. And I got it on the test bench here, so we'll see if this thing works. And if everything goes well, this should be power when we turn the power on. This is your check engine light representation, and this is your fuel pump. And so, let's see what happens. It's the 5 volt regulator, which is good. 5.07 volts is fine. Uh, power is going through, and the check engine light's coming on like it should. And this thing lights up a little bit because it's an LED and it lights too easy, but it's actually not lit right now. <laughs> when you shut it off, you can see that the pump will run for one second. And then it goes to a real dim green. Um, and that's exactly what we expect to see. And then this switch, when I throw it, is going to turn uh, the car into like code pulling mode. So you're going to see the check engine light start blinking the two-digit trouble codes it's going to have. And it'll have a bunch because it's on the bench. That's normal. Uh, the big thing is we want to make sure that it does actually do that. And here we go. Five. One, code 51. Code 22. Code 63. Code 54. Code 31. Code 67. Code 81. Code 82. Code 85. Code 84. Code 95. Code 51. Code 22. And now it's just repeating the, it's repeating all the codes that it already showed us. So that's it. Looks good. I think, uh, the 5 volt regulator works. The fuel pump's coming on for one second when it's supposed to. Um, I think this thing's going to be good. Perfect.